How to trade with the Williams percent range indicator. In this video I will show you how to identify the strongest and most profitable trends to trade. As always, this video provides a clear, winning, step-by-step -step guide to how to successfully trade in the Forex, stocks, commodities, or any financial markets and generate consistent profits. So, by the time you finish this video, you'll know exactly when to enter high probability trade using the Williams percent range indicator. As usual, we'll have plenty of practical examples. The idea is to fully understand this wonderful trading strategy and to make the most out of it. If you want more videos more often please smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notifications bell so that you know exactly when new content is released. A very important point before we start. Everything we discuss in this video can be used for currency trading, stock trading, and crypto, because price action stays relatively consistent across different assets, so we're going to go very in-depth in this video. Are you looking to up your trading game and improve your trading results? If your answer to this question is yes, then this video is for you. One way to improve your trading game is through the use of technical indicators. Technical indicators are tried and tested tools that will help you predict market direction. Today we will concentrate on one technical indicator known as the Williams percent range oscillator. Here you will learn what the Williams percent range indicator is and how to use it to upgrade your trading game. What exactly is Williams percent range indicator? Williams percent range is a momentum oscillator that measures that oscillates between the level 0 to minus 100 and is used to determine whether an asset has been overbought or oversold. The Williams percent range indicator borrows and works within the same lines as the stochastic oscillator. The Williams percent range strategy was discovered by Larry Williams, who became popular for using it to make massive gains. Oscillators help traders identify overbought and oversold conditions of a specific asset. Larry Williams discovered that when an asset has been overbought, the Williams percent range indicator will be between 0 and minus 20 levels, whereas when an asset has been oversold, the indicator will be between the minus 80 to minus 100 levels. Some traders will define this as the strength or weakness of a financial asset against its price. The Williams percent range is usually found at the bottom pane of your trading platform. How is the Williams percent range calculated? Part of the reason that the Williams percent range indicator is common is because it is relatively easy to calculate. The formula for calculating the Williams percent range is percent %R equals highest high minus close divided to highest high minus lowest low times minus 100, where highest high is the peak price for the period in consideration. Close is the closing price for the period in consideration. The lowest low is the lowest price for the period in consideration. Usually, the Williams percent range is calculated for 14 periods. However, you can always change this to your preferred number of periods. Like for most indicators, you do not need to understand how to do it, as most trading platforms already have an inbuilt Williams percent range indicator. Look for it in the indicator section of your trading platform. The Williams percent range strategy. The Williams percent range is an oscillator that helps you determine if the underlying security has been overbought or oversold. In this strategy, an overbought asset will have a Williams percent range of above minus 30, while an oversold asset will be below minus 70. It is important to note that these levels do not in any way indicate a price reversal. They only help indicate when an asset's current price is close to the highest price of its recent range, overbought readings or the price is close to the lowest low price point of its current price or trading range, oversold reading. The Williams percent range trading strategy can be used in two ways. First, to indicate a price reversal, weakening momentum or momentum burst. Second, to indicate the continuation of a price trend or consolidation. Williams percent range is a momentum burst strategy. In a strong bearish trend, or strong downtrend, the value of the Williams percent range may fall to below minus 70. In such a situation, this could be an indication that the price may start to reverse. If the price continues to fall and the value of the percent R does not go back to above minus 70, then it is an indication of a bearish reversal. 
it is advisable to use another indicator, like moving average or other market factors as confirmation. In a strong bullish trend or strong uptrend, the value of the Williams percent range may raise to above minus 30. In such a situation, this could be an indication that the price may start to reverse. If the price continues to raise and the value of the percent R does not go back to below minus 30, then it is an indication of a bullish reversal. Again, it is advisable to use another indicator to confirm the price reversal. Williams percent range is a trend continuation strategy. As a continuation strategy, we will focus on the Williams percent range minus 50 level, overbought oversold zones, and moving averages trend. This is because it shows a clear difference between the real overbought and oversold readings on the percent R indicator. As such, it implies a change in momentum of the price action of a specific security or financial instrument. Percent R Continuation Strategy Setup This chart illustrates how to use the Williams percent range as a trend continuation strategy. Bullish Continuation First, Price Above the Moving Averages Second, the percent R indicator above the minus 30 or overbought level. Third, when the percent R indicator goes upward past the minus 30 level again, after hitting the first overbought level and bounce downward below the minus 50 level, it is safe to assume that the market will form the next uptrend. So, open buy will only be done if the percent R indicator goes upward past the minus 30 level for the second time and so on. Place a stop loss below the lowest moving average. This concept can also be applied to a bearish continuation. First, price below the moving averages. Second, the percent R indicator below the minus 70 or oversold level. Third, when the percent R indicator goes downward past the minus 70 level again, after hitting the first oversold level and bounce upward above the minus 50 level, it is safe to assume that the market will form the next downtrend. So, open sell will only be done if the percent R indicator goes downward past the minus 70 level for the second time and so on. Place a stop loss above the highest moving average. This should be simple enough. Or, in this video, I've included a template with the system that you can simply upload to your chart, and it will automatically plot all these indicators perfectly on your charts, so there's nothing for you to worry about. Get the download link on the description. Here are other examples of the Williams percent R trading, to fully understand this wonderful strategy, and to make the most out of it.
The Williams percent R trading strategy can be considered profitable, especially when used correctly. As it does not indicate the market direction, it provides better results when combined with another indicator, such as the moving average, Heiken Ashi, Ichimoku Kumo, and trendlines. As always, if you learned something new, or if you want more videos more often, make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell and leave us a like to show your support. See you next time.